How are we doing, ladies and gents, boys and girls? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to teach you how to do this. So I gave one of these away in one of my previous videos and this time I'm giving away another one of my Tom's Fly bottles. So all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below. And while you're there, you may as well hit that like button. I'd really, really appreciate it because it does help push this video to more people. So thank you very much and good luck in the competition. Yes, that's right. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do that move plus two other super hard moves and how to balance the bottle on the neck. Ooh. Super tough moves coming today. The first move I'm gonna show you is how to catch the ball on the back of your hand upside down. Then we're gonna do it on our arm and then I'm gonna teach you how to get it onto your chin. So the first move looks like this. So this move is all about controlling the balance and as you see, I'm not putting any spin on the bottle which makes catching the bottle much easier. So you can practice catching and then balancing the bottle. Let's break it down. Ooh, 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 ooh. With any balancing move in flare bartending, you want to start with the balance part. So find the position of where you want to put the bottle. And for me, it's on my index finger. That's where I want to get it. So you want to get that bottle there and start balancing. And I put my thumb into place over here as well. That really helps sort of give me a bit of a guide. But eventually you should be able to just balance it on one finger. And where you need to look is at the base, which is now the top of the bottle and make small, tiny adjustments to keep that balance. The more you practice this, the easier the move is gonna get. And then once you've got that balance, the throw is just a throw up to catch exactly in this position. You wanna throw up into position, and then with enough practice, hopefully you'll be able to hold it there. You can start upgrading this by putting an extra spin, but make sure you've got that balance nailed first. The second move is balancing the bottle on your arm. I'm gonna show you a really tough way to get there. And all of these moves, you can change position where you catch it, but I like to use these specific moves to get into these types of balances as I find that they look the best in this way. The second move I'm gonna show you looks like this. So nailing this move is gonna be much, much harder and learning that over the shoulder throw is key to getting this move correct. But the same as before, if you get that balance nailed, then this move becomes a lot, lot easier. All right, let's break it down. For this, you need to learn how to do the over the shoulder. And then again, same as the previous one, you need to figure out where you're gonna catch that bottle on your arm. I like it closer to the end, to my wrist, to where my hand is. And, and get it kind of there. Because the closer it is to your hand, the more movement you have to try and counter the balance. Where if it's here, you have a smaller circle of movement with this part of your arm. If it's there, you have a bigger circle of movement, okay? Then you need to start practicing the throw, which is a spin and a half, because you're starting in this position, it's gonna go over, and you're gonna catch it there. You wanna start practicing it to a paw, as if you're gonna come into a paw, and then eventually, once you get good at that, then you wanna just put your arm in place and try and balance it. Again, the more you practice that balance, the easier this move is gonna get. Okay, moving on to the third and final most difficult move is the chin balance. The chin balance is one of my signature moves and it's a move which some people have asked me to teach them how to do it. Now, to perform this move, you do need to have several years of practice under your belt. It's all about controlling the bottle. But same as before, you need to practice that balance. So, bottle on your chin, and then you're just looking at the top of the bottle, which is the base of the bottle, and learning how to balance it. How I learned to get good at this move is I used to balance a broom on my chin. So the longer you've got and the heavier it is at the top, the kind of the easier the balancing will be. Next, you wanna start practicing that throw, which is a back to front, flat throw, but you want the bottle to come up as close as you can to your chin. So it's not coming up and down onto your chin. You wanna have it come up like this, and you follow it, and as it comes up, you lean back, and you wanna catch it on your chin. So it's a very, very smooth transition from throw to catch. It's not an up and land on your chin, it's a up and smoothly catch it on your chin. So be very, very careful when you try this one, please. As you see, when it comes to the balance, there's a lot of body movement that you need to start getting into play. 
uh, and it means that you need to move your neck, your body, your everything to try and make sure that you've got that bottle balanced on your chin. That's three very difficult moves for you guys to start practicing. Let me know how you get on. If you do post any videos on your Instagram stories, make sure you tag me and I'll share those to my Instagram stories as well. But thank you so much for watching. Oh, before we go, we do need to find a winner from last week's competition. Who's going to take away the flare kit? So, drum roll, please. Aliona Rise, congratulations. Just drop me a message on Instagram and we'll get that sent to you as soon as we can. Good luck to everybody this week. Thank you to all my patrons who are supporting me over on Patreon. If you want to get involved with that, there's a link down below. I'm posting more videos over there. But uh, that's it for the, today's video. We have reached the end. Oh. But anyway, I'll be back next week with more. So stick around. Thank you so much for watching. So next time, see you then.